Hello, everybody. It's Deb Calvert. Just want to spend another moment talking with you about stop selling and start leading. Today, what I want to talk about is a word you might not have heard before. That word is outside, and it's something that buyers really want us to bring to the table. You've heard about insight. Insight is the ability to apprehend the inner nature of things. By contrast, outsight is the awareness of and understanding of outside forces. You can't have outsight without openness. You have to remain open to the possibilities, open to the resources all around you, open to whatever's outside your own usual echo chamber, which by the way, we we all have a tendency to, to indulge in, hearing and choosing the sources that bring us information that's most familiar and confirms biases that, that we already have or knowledge that we already feel comfortable with. So having outside requires getting outside your comfort zone, being able to cross-apply things that are happening over there to what you're doing over here. To have outside, you have to be able to look at that bigger picture and think from other people's perspectives. Openness to a diverse point of view is a really important piece for developing outside. In the book, Stop Selling and Start Leading, one of my favorite stories from sellers comes from a seller who submitted his personal best. Uh, his name is Ted Hyman. And the story that he told is truly an extraordinary sale. It's a sale that contributed, in fact, to our national security here in the U.S. because the, the customer was the Department of Defense. And Ted had to find a way to create something, going to resources he'd never worked with before. In fact, choosing to work with people outside his own company to develop this solution that earned him the Gracie Award. It's, it's an award given for showing leadership that contributes to national security. You'll wanna be sure to check out that story inside the book. Also, when you think about outsight, challenge yourself to reach further than what you've thought about doing before. Don't stop as soon as you find that little nugget of information that confirms what you already knew or believed. That's the time to push yourself to go see what else is out there. What are other people thinking or doing about this? What are some alternative ways that you could be doing whatever it is that you do when you sell? When you choose to pursue outside, you're going to get into a situation where you are presenting yourself as a leader and demonstrating behaviors that buyers prefer. Buyers prefer sellers who routinely demonstrate outside. We know that because of the research we did, the research that makes up Stop Selling and Start Leading. Be sure to get a copy and thank Thank you for watching this video from People First Productivity Solutions. I'm Deb Calvert and I really appreciate it when you give us a thumbs up or a share or comment on these videos. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe. We don't want you to miss out on any of the new content or tools.